nowadays, you know, I don't know how old you are, but when I was growing up, somebody knocked on your door or rang your doorbell, you answered the door, you saw who it was. Now it's like people are just so distanced that, you know, somebody's knocking on the door and they're not expecting anybody. They, they call up. They don't even answer their door. It's just a, it's a different environment that people live in these days that, you know, they don't want to encounter something that unexpected that they just, they, they are on the side of caution and they send us. Many people say that they cannot believe. Many people say that they don't know God. But I tell you today, the problem isn't that they cannot believe. It's that they won't believe. Yeah, I got it. It's that they won't believe in God. And this is what happens. This is exactly what happens. When a man of God comes to an intersection, preaches the word of God, they call the police. How you doing, sir? What can I do for you? Uh, so we just got a call about your presence here, obviously. We're not going to do anything. You're you're in well within your rights. We just okay. want to let you know that there is a township ordinance um, uh, of 65 decibels. I don't know exactly what 65 decibels is, but if someone calls about it, we obviously have to come here and respond to it. So I just want to let you know that there's already been complaints and that if someone does complain and then you do go by you go past the township ordinance and it's too loud you can get issued a township ordinance for that and get a fine okay I'm just letting you know all right so so a recap wrong. is yep if i go past the 65 decibels correct i'm gonna get a fine correct okay so what's 65 decibels i have no idea I'm, all right I'm, you I'm, as a law enforcement officer you gotta gotta specify that you're okay. forcing so, the law, right? So if it when because I, I want I want to do what's dual, right. I'm not I'm not I'm not here to give you a problem. You're I want to do what's right. I want okay. to do what's right. right. So I want so I'm okay. Here. So we're here just to give you a heads up that people are complaining. I, again, I don't know what 65 decibels is. I couldn't tell you. Okay, I'm not trained on that. I'm okay, not trained on that. It's a class four. So we don't so have let, let me ask you let me let me ask you a question. They they made you a police officer and for and to enforce laws you don't know about. The township ordinance, so I can enforce certain laws, but there's, you don't have knowledge on all those laws. No, not no, right? So we go to certain things like 2C Title 39, which is law of the roadway. We've gone through those classes, and if we want to further our education and know more stuff, we have and certify other things. We got to uh -huh. go through classes and get certified. Okay, I'm not certified in decibel training. Okay, I all right. Know that. So I'm going to turn it down. Okay. That's that's what I'm going to do. I appreciate that, and that's that's all I'm asking. But for. if you get another call, I'm already obeying you, and I will I, I will inform my sergeant and my supervisor. Okay. That you that you did turn it down. Okay. And, and right. again, you're not if you're not obstructing traffic. You're not giving anybody problems. Okay. Just I just this is the my, this volume right here. Um, it's right there. Yeah, it was I'm, it was. Can I just shine my light on? Yeah, yeah. Go if ahead. You don't mind. This is full blast. Yeah, yeah. This is where it was at. Okay. And I'm bringing it right here. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Can I just get, I just need your information whenever we go and speak with the public, any interaction with the public, we have to make a report of what's going on. So okay. So I'm, I'm going to need your information, your name, your, your pedigree information. This is, would be anybody that I speak with. I just need to now, your information is not going to go out to the public. It's just going to go in our system for my report writing saying that. I came here and spoke to, I don't know your name. Jokas. Molasic, came here and spoke to. My name is Jokas. That's and it would just be on that information that I spoke to you. I informed you of this. You agreed. You were cooperative and there's no incident and I'm gone. Okay. My name is Jokas. I'm going to need your full name, please. I, if you could spell that for me. Well, you see, there's a problem. What's that? New Jersey has a statute that if I don't feel comfortable providing my name, I don't have to give it unless I'm being given a citation, I'm being pulled over, or I'm being arrested, or I'm a material witness to a crime in, okay. that's in your investigation, yeah, which listen, I'm, I'm, not I'm neither all for, you know, so again, I don't I, feel comfortable. I tried to explain to you as best I could. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just here for that. I don't feel comfortable giving my name because I don't know you. I respect you as a police officer. Okay. You know, I thank you for giving me a chance to turn it down and... You know, just taking the normal procedures and everything. But I, I don't know you from Adam. I never met you before. I don't know what you're going to do with my information.
I just don't feel comfortable giving my information when it's not a lawful order. So I, I if it's a law, so you could be uncooperative and just say whatever. You don't care. You don't want to give me. So I'm being respective by explaining it to you. You know, okay. and so I don't feel comfortable. You know, giving you my information because number one, it's it's not a lawful order. I get what I'm not saying. being given a citation, so I have I have the right. It's reserved in New Jersey because New Jersey is not a stop and identify state and yada yada yada. Okay. So. You know, I'll just give you Yokus. That way you can put the name on his face. How do you spell that? I, I'm just going to put that on here and yeah. I'll call my supervisor yeah. and see what he said. Go ahead. Y O K A S. Okay, that's what you go by. Thanks, I'll hang on one second. Gosh, the, the cars are so loud. Is anybody complaining about that? I don't know how they hurt you. I don't, I don't know. know really, unless they, someone walked by? You know what it is? I'm talking about Jesus. You know Christ? I'm a Catholic man, so. Yo, ca oh, oh, hallelujah. Oh, I got something for you, brother. So, I got something for you. I did Catholic school. Guys. Here you go. It says Mary's it. command. Ooh, that's right up your alley. <laughs> you go enjoy that, man. You pray to Mary? How's that working out for you? Mary's command. I appreciate it. Yeah, check it out, man. Now you see, look at this intersection. Take a look at this intersection. There ain't nobody here. There ain't nobody here. No one walked by it. I know. Yeah, right? Passer by, so I don't know how anyone see it. Yeah. Not any traffic, anyone. Exactly. And hear the sound of those tires? When they really go speeding by like that, the volume goes up. In fact, I'm right next to the speaker and I really couldn't hear myself. Yeah. So. You belong to a parish around here or? No. No. I'm a Christian. Okay. Born again. Okay. You know, I'm a watchman, and my job is to warn people. Okay. If God didn't feel the people need to be warned, I wouldn't be here. Okay. But when people do bad things and they ignore God, God sends people like me. There's like help them out. thousands cool. of me around. A lot around. of people go to God to get help, so. Yeah. All right, we're good to go. All right, God bless you. I turned it down. You have a good night. We appreciate right. it. God on. bless you. Thank and enjoy you. Mary's command. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Take care, so, like I said, guys, uh, this is just the typical. I look at the order and see right. That is 65. It's up to have my goalies. And not the official sound level or whatnot. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. All right, I'm good. The diner right across the street called the police because they came out to look at you. One of the guys. Many people say they just cannot believe. Uh -huh. um, so, so let me get this straight. You got several calls. I don't know about several. I wasn't the one who received the call. I just got so you just got a call. People are saying they can't hear the televisions. That's what they're complaining about. Right? It's just, the noise is so loud. That they I, I already so turned it down. I ain't messing with the knob. See, the knob is, is still the same. You know, so. How, lo how long have you been out here? I don't even know. I'm, I'm just here as long as God wants me here. Now, I tell you what, I'm not going to be here till no 9 and 10 o'clock at night. I'm not going to be here real late. I don't even, what time is it? Uh, oh, 7 30. I'll probably be out here around 8 30. Okay. Um, I mean, the ordinance says like 
I mean, after 10 o'clock for sure. I'm not going to be here that long. can't be anything unreasonable. Um, These people need to understand that I have a right to be here. No, I'm, I'm not saying you don't. I, I, I get a call, I have to come here. So that's why I'm here. Yeah. Somebody called to complain. So I'm just saying, they, but it it's, it's them. The police need to tell them that they can't keep calling you guys when I'm preaching well, the gospel of Jesus Christ. There, that's what I'm there's saying. A, there's, a, there's a general noise ordinance. That, yeah, and I'm, I mean, I'm following that's completely unreasonable. And that's why I have to come regardless, whether it's inside or outside that, that time parameter that it's, you know, acceptable or unacceptable. Yeah, I'm, I'm following the ordinance. I turned it all the way down. It's, it's not even facing this direction. It's facing over there. I'm, I'm getting the people. My main concern is, of course, whoever is willing to listen. But my main concern is the people in their cars. They're listening. They're, they've they been blowing their horns at me, s supporting me, waving their yeah, arms no, out I'm the not head. I'm here to agree or disagree with anything you're, oh, okay. you're saying. Yeah, no it's opinion. Not, that's not, right. That's not what, you know, why I'm here. I'm just saying, we got called because somebody thought that the noise was was excessive. You know, to the point where they're inside their house and they can't, you know, they got to turn up their television because the noise is too loud. So if you're in the immediate area here, I can see where that would be the case. As I pulled up to the light, I didn't even notice you here, but I heard something loud. I thought it was just somebody's exactly. radio going by. Um, and then I, I noticed you, you here. And then the dispatcher gave me the call that we got to complain about it. So yeah, so they're lying, man. You, you mean, you, you, your own ears, you... you no, I heard it. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I didn't know exactly where it was coming from at first because I, I was coming up to the light. And I heard something from the speaker, but I just like in the yeah. darkness. So, I, I didn't see until I was like looking around and I know. So look at these houses here. They, they, where, there is really no residential places here. Well, right above that is right above is, that. That's an apartment. That's an apartment. Yeah. Okay, okay but that's brick building. I, I'm not even. I couldn't even penetrate that unless I had like a that's bigger speaker. Top, right? Yeah, the windows are down. And you said that no, you... No, I said the window's not brick. I'm sorry, the noise will oh. penetrate that, for sure. Yeah, but um, who's who, who's calling the police? If they have a problem with me, why are they not coming out here asking me and telling me and trying to work the things out? things are handled. You know, what, whatever happened... They call us and, and... Whatever happened to, uh, what was it called? Social justice. <laughs> where where you come out and we reason together. You, you guys do not need to come. Those long gone. I mean, you know, people... Nowadays... You know, I don't know how old you are, but when I was growing up, somebody knocked on your door or rang your doorbell, you answered the door, you saw who it was. Now it's like people are just so distanced that, you know, somebody's knocking on the door and they're not expecting anybody. They they call us. They don't even answer the door. It's just a, it's a different environment that people live in these days that, they you know, they don't want to encounter something that's unexpected, but they just, they, they are on the side of caution and they send us. It's just the way, unfortunately, th you know, things are done these days by a lot of people. I'm not saying everybody handles it that way, but a lot of people um, are on the side of caution and just send us and let us deal with it. So, so like I said, I'm not here to, to shut you down. I, I'm just here because I got a call, so I had to, I had to come. Is there, is there, I'm only going to be here a little bit longer than I'm done. So is there a sergeant that can forward, these, these people be forward to him and he tells them, look, he has a right to be here. You just got to well, understand well, that this is America and he has the freedom of speech. We can do that now. I mean, I, I we, nobody had been out here with you before, right? Yes, people. Uh, two officers came earlier. Oh, they did. Yeah, okay. and they and, and I just that's, came on duty at seven. So yeah, it, they, it was a prior shift, and that must have come. Yeah, they told me to turn it down. They checked out okay. the volume. They were okay with it, and they kept going. Okay. I mean, it, like I said, as long as the volume's not to that totally excessive, unreasonable. Uh, yeah, look at the. This is the volume right here. It's at 50%. It's not even at full blast. Full oh. blast is yeah, even louder. As long as it's not... There, there's a time parameter, but then there's like anything... There's a general, just totally unreasonable that's... that's yeah. Know, it's within the time parameters that it's acceptable, that you could still just be excessive and in and, and those situations, it's still a violation. Um, I'm not saying you're in violation. I'm just saying... I got called here. I'm just coming out just to make sure things are ex at an acceptable yeah. level. Yeah. Um, and and I don't think that they're not. I'm not cursing. So, so no, I'm not I, using foul language or anything. No, I'm just to, stating to, that. To say you know. that you're, you're not saying anything appropriate or, or what you're preaching is not appropriate. Um, you're totally within your rights to do that. Uh, I'm just here because, like I said, I got called for the, the noise. I just came out to just check what this the status was. Yeah. This is uh. This is what I'm speaking. I'm okay.
Okay. And uh, if you don't, I'm assuming, did they grab your information earlier? Well, I told them that I reserved the right to hold my information, and I can give you my my alias. But um, since I don't know you, you don't know me. It's kind of like I I, I reserve my uh, my information, you know, under the statues in New Jersey. And so, I mean, I can tell you I'm a watchman. My name is Jokis, and I'm just here to warn the people this is my job. As you know, I got a bulletproof vest on. I take my job very serious. I've had people try to kill me for do, for what I'm doing right now. And so I take this very serious. I've come from a very far away place to come all the way out here. So I didn't come here on my own accord. Trust me, I would rather... It, speaking of the flesh, the, the, the man, the worldly me, mm-hmm. I, would, I would be at home relaxing on the, on the couch, watching TV with my wife and my children. But God called me, and so I exercised his authority given to me to go out and warn the people. Okay. Totally understand. So, like I said, you're, you're good? I mean, as long as it doesn't exceed the time parameters of the ordinance? That's 9 p.m. or 10 p.m.? Uh, it's 10 p.m. Oh, I'll, I'll be out here long before then, what probably like 8.30 or whatever, so. Yeah. All right. And All right. as long as the noise stays at a reasonable level, we're good. All right, God bless you. So we'll see our street ministry. Well done. Probably one of my nicest. <laughs> These people are something else, man. They want me out of here. Truth from the shame. Unafraid. He ain't shutting down, are they? Huh? He ain't shutting down, is he? No. Okay, all right. I live right up there, man. I'm listening to you. I'm working up in your apartment. I'm listening. I'm loving what you're saying, brother. Absolutely, yeah. man. Absolutely. You got a card? You got a paper? Fly or something, man. Yeah, they, they don't want me here. They, they they call the police on me twice. Oh, who's that? Over here? Everyone. Yeah, well, guess what? Not everyone. Hey, Amen. God everyone, bless you. Man. You know Jesus? You, let me tell you what, man. My Lord and Savior. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely, right. man. I fell Amen. into his arms big time about seven years ago. Let me give you some, some encouragement, man. Absolutely. Keep going. Dude, I, I love what you were saying, man. I and really do. If you do. want to pass a few out. This, you got it. Yeah. I absolutely will, man. I'm going to be out tomorrow and... uh. I am well. I absolutely will. What's right. your name, my friend? Yokus. Yokus, I am yes. Thaddeus. All right. I'm going to go right. into another message. All right. You do it. All I'm right. right up there, man. I'm listening, Yokus. Thank, Thank you. you. You're trying to figure out who calling the police. Man, uh, you know what? You got people at the diner. You got people here. It could be anybody. And you know what's the sad part about Is there a lot of houses down this way? Um, Or no. is there houses up this way? There's a couple houses up there. But okay. There's a couple houses over there. But okay. you know what, Yokus? You know what the sad part about this is? I bet you 80% of the people here hearing your message agree with you, but no one will give you an amen. Nobody, nothing, you know? Uh huh. Yeah, they're saying? driving by they're saying driving stuff. By. You know? I hear a couple of horns beeping. I hope it's a, a positive beep. <laughs> yes, it beep, is. You know, that's great. But I'm telling you, man, it's, uh, it's sad. It's sad. Like I said, man. Destruction is coming. They're going to go you with it. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. It's coming. You taking the vaccine? It came and be. No. Amen. Praise no the way, Lord. Man. No, 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 no mask. No mask. Get away from me, man. That's it.